This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to this another video in Market of YouTube channel. Hope today was a fantastic day and made some money and it was a profitable day. In this volatility, if you not put a stop loss order, then it will be a disaster. Hope today you will be knowing the importance of stop loss orders. Even there is a small loss is fine, but if you not put stop loss order, you have to hit stop loss in a big time and then you got the price got reversed. Okay, so don't forget to put your stop loss orders it is a must. Many times it will hit you and give you wrong indications, but never mind. But once one definitely one day it will save. So let's go into the video and see what happened today in the market and how could have traded and what is the view for the coming days. So before the disclaimer, please note the views what are mentioned here is my personal opinion and uh, any uh, loss taken based on the take, uh, trades taken by based on my views, I am responsible. Please consult your financial advisor before taking any trades. So let's go to the charts. So today it was a wonderful day for Nifty and Bank Nifty both for option buyers particularly. So, but in case of Nifty today it was a triple top actually. Nifty made a triple top almost. We are getting very good resistance at this level. Once we sustain about 12,000 levels, definitely we can go for some bigger levels. But uh, FA data is not suggesting that actually. We will try to take some short positions only at 12,000 and targeting for lower levels till 12,300, 12,300. So let's go into the hourly chart and see what happened. If you see today exactly the sound, this the 11,800 level, this is a breakout level. We retested again here and then bounced back. So now everybody has got a view that uh, opinion that it is now every uh, the dip is a buy. There's a mindset has been created in the traders and investors now. <coughs> but that is not the real scenario. Today, the triangle I mentioned in the telegram also the triangle pattern. The breakout happened the first time out above that actually. Just to give you an opinion that we got a breakout on the upside. Then immediately after that, uh, just it is a matter of uh, one hour, the entire move got broke down and then we got the fill also, gapping uh, gap got filled also and then got a reversal. But the thing is that now Nifty is becoming weak, all these days Bank Nifty was weak and now Nifty is becoming weak and Bank Nifty is showing strength actually. So let us see in the now, once you sustain long to 800 levels, then we we'll look for 2400, but uh, that looks very less uh, chance actually possible that we might go for say again testing here and uh, breakout above this uh, say 2100 are possible that to give opinion that the market is going to break out and we are going for new high and then there's a breakout the downfall can come because everybody now is now aware that a triple top is there and everybody can see the chart there's nothing new so triple top is there it is a bearish pattern and then now we'll give breakout and everybody will uh, see the uh, breakout the consultation level is almost 200 points and 2200 we have to go everybody knows that actually so we'll try to go there above and then make a fall actually that's another probability but uh, the risk reward ratio is not in fear of long positions for time being at this position in case of bank nifty bank nifty looks a little bullish and now we are possible that we are going for testing 25,000 levels that's what looks a target actually. But the thing is that the option pain is not giving any indication about, about that. Today actually 24,100, 200, then it moved all the way 24,400 also. But I'm not sure whether we'll be able to achieve this 25,000 level in this week. We Astro also indicating that we could be testing some negative moves on Friday actually. So let's see some, uh, let's see the power of two also. So today in the power of two, what happened here? The entire day, okay, today the entire day, we are above the VWAP. This is the VWAP, entire day we are above the VWAP. Once it broke the VWAP with a big candle, what time broke? Almost 115. After that 115, we went all the way in just 215. Exactly in one hour, the entire game was over actually. The put of premiums went like to the roof and then hit everything. And then again, we reached this level. 
so this looks like a possible algo trigger that's what it looks like because uh, enter move got reversed some some error possible or uh, some wrong triggering happened in the algos uh, so that everything got uh, fixed and then they have pulled the market and the upside taking the price to the base from where it started to fall okay this is a big uh, manipulation happened actually today that's what it looks like is not a natural fall it's some artificial fall looks like let us go to the renko setup so the renko setup you're following renko setup if you just see here morning there is no chance to capture this position because morning itself we got this breakout above the mid don't change channel here 115 so once we, uh, what i'll do is like you on friday wednesday and thursday you are getting this good opportunity here on don't change channel midpoint once you break this don't change channel midpoint uh, try to buy the put option downside if you're going try to buy put option and definitely is giving very good reward actually do back testing yourself also and uh, i found is very interesting and similarly here also when don't change channel got broken on the upside then we got a very good move on the upside also so just thing is that you have to capture this point buying a put option here and buying call option here you don't change channel it's not every week it's possible definitely most of the times at least in the out of four weeks in a month at least two weeks we are getting a very good opportunity like this and we can go big on this and take some risk and it definitely can give me good money this with simple setup nothing required once you break this don't change channel we'll buy put on downside and once you uh, break on upside means we'll buy call option just do some back testing on this for wednesday and thursday only okay may, may not be like possible that every week will happen at least two times in a month looks like possibility particularly bank nifty now because VIX also has increased now VIX is now almost 23 now let us see for the nifty nifty here some small uh whipsaw happened here here after the down move from here below the mid don't change channel it came all the way here tested twice and then started moving up only one whipsaw here and then again we moved on the upside but here if you see the last two days so many whipsaws here about don't change channel here but here the capturing is not difficult it's not easy because it is not like a weekend moves wednesday does this only day you have to try this option otherwise you can go for whenever it is breaking this down you can say short calls and when it's breaking on the upside you can short the puts that could be a strategy for other days friday monday and tuesday okay so don't try this thing on other days now let us see the volume profile reliance if you see here exactly we are getting very good resistance at 23 2367 and now we are getting a support here now once we break this there is high chance that we are going to break this in the next few days once we break this now the target will be on downside will be 1500 levels for lanes what will be the news that will be driving the price to that levels we don't know but definitely the news will follow the price action mm -hmm. let us see the nifty nifty is also very clearly that it is a poor heights happening now if you see hourly chart hourly chart if you see very clearly here above this there is no demand at all demand at all so futures there is a very clear selling happening the point of control is 11230 now once this bar start building up then 11535 will be the point of control if that is the case then at least 500 points of correction we should see and then this gap also need to get filled so that's the way we definitely we are seeing before the month end expiry at least we should see 11300 levels at any cost because FIs are not giving opportunity, but one day they will just come out with a big shots. See for the bank Nifty also. Bank Nifty is very clearly indicating that 24,800 is the level futures is giving a volume drive. There is no demand for the futures on the upside this level. And point of control is very, very down, big down swell. 22,400 levels is what showing and there is no big bar anything developing above this level. So wait for this 22,400 level and we should fill this gap also will happen any moment. Maybe like maybe next week or possible before the end of the month. I'm expecting this. Let us wait. And now we'll see other chart setups. Now let us see the Ichimoku cloud. Ichimoku cloud definitely it is not a sales signal as of now. It's positional. Once we go below this cloud, then we'll get some good sell signal. 
in case of bank nifty <coughs> definitely definitely here also there is no sell signal as of now everything is intraday trades and volatility moves only but once you go below each more cloud then big sell off can happen till the time it is be all intraday trades only and today also intraday very good opportunity you got just take some trades and exit because now risk reward ratio is not in favor of longs that's what i am telling now let us see bollinger band in case of bollinger band definitely uh, we are in the middle of this bollinger band upper upper support and lower supported longs 574 so we are just in between this either we should support the, uh, just this longs of 600 or 12300 this is what is looking like now but as of now it is uh, there is no clear positive trend emerging in this bollinger band in case of bank nifty we here also same thing but however here the trend is little clear and strong uh, compared to nifty now bank nifty is giving a lead on the upside actually but most probably here we should see some resistance at 25000 levels in case of bank nifty hdfc giving a good lead actually in case of bank nifty support is there and then hekinashi candle here we still we not in spite of this move we not formed any red candle it's green only and in case of bank nifty is a clear open equal to low bullish pattern so nothing to bother on the daily charts bullishness is there still and also if you see adx also if you see the it is widening in case of bank nifty indicating that the, uh, the trend is getting strong on the upper end and this one just see the adx uh, whenever it is uh, around 40 it may, uh, most of times it is uh, maturing actually <coughs> let us uh, go to the next chart setup five day high ema low ema so now bank nifty nifty is inside the high day five day high ema low ema still we are not uh, above this closing a candle above this five day high ema now and let us see the bank nifty what happened Mm, looks like there is some hanging actually hanging going on okay mm, what happened oh oh let us see sorry yeah i think the yeah so sorry sorry for that actually it looks like uh, there is a memory problem actually uh, meanwhile we we'll just go to the data and see what's happening so in case of uh, open interest data <clears throat> now uh, the pcr is very strong for uh, bank nifty it is 1.33 and uh, for nifty is below 1 it is bearish and if i data coming to the fi data Uh, FA is still they are not giving up actually, but however slightly built up is seeing on the stock prices the three thousand contracts. But in case of uh, index features, they bought some two thousand contracts today actually. But a put option also they are holding almost uh, three times of the index major long position as the hedge is there. <coughs> in case of open interest for tomorrow expiry, uh, the highest open interest seen is twenty five thousand call. So there is a twenty four five hundred call. You could not see much actually. So they are not expecting any uh, resistance at twenty four five hundred. Next resistance seen twenty five thousand only. And then in case of uh, Nifty, two thousand call is highest open interest. Before that, nothing much, much uh, resistance seen actually. Two thousand nine hundred call is there. And uh, the bottom side, two thousand eight hundred put is there. So tomorrow, two thousand eight hundred and two thousand is there. gap where the expiry is about to happen so let's go to the participant open interest in case of clients they are holding short still index futures they are holding 18000 contract short and uh, property traders they are holding long position for tomorrow for 10500 contracts long and they shorted more calls than the puts so coming to the lakshman draka uh, lakshman draka Still, we are bullish only from midpoint perspective and also from the Lashman Draka perspective. And now here I added one more thing is the uh, pivot point also. 
for tomorrow, nine hundred is a point one and twenty four five hundred is the point one for bank. This is the futures level. So tomorrow, in case any movement will come, uh, like today, long of nine hundred call and put is to be closely watched. And similarly, twenty four five hundred is the call and put we have to closely watch for any big movements on either side. And uh, today, if you see here, the range got increased actually. If you see day for yesterday, it was eighty. Then we increased to 114 and then 250. Now the range is the highest in the last several days actually. If you see here, earlier 21st September we got uh, the highest 200-300 points. Then the range got slowly coming down to 100 actually in the next four, uh, four five, six days. But same thing will happen here also. After few days now the range will come down. After that it will increase. This is what how the big range expansion is happening. Coming to the midpoint perspective. Now, uh, still we not got any swing low actually in case of Nifty. We need to break long the seven thirty six swing low for any down moves to come. And in case of Bank Nifty, here also the swing uh, low will not be broken unless we broke twenty three four fifty. We not be able to see any down moves here. So wait for swing moves to come. Midpoint will give a very clear indication. And here also like we we are crossing above the twenty four three fifty four, which is the earlier midpoint also. So coming to the PCR. We are just very very high. Now we are getting into overbought situation in case of Bank Nifty. So uh, watch carefully for the uh, overbought position tomorrow. It can possible that we can go a little uh, higher level to touch even 26,000, 25,000 levels also. La, remember day for the last time also like on uh, 8th October uh, we got the same situation where Nifty was uh, trying to touch 1.6 levels also. Something like that is possible tomorrow in Bank Nifty also. So. Stay cautious in Bank Nifty. In case of volatility, for tomorrow the range is 25 to 40 and 24,000. Almost now the range is increased because of the high volatility. And the VIX is now 22.9 levels. Now almost near 23 levels. Whether we are continuing and breaking our 25 levels is what we have to see. P ratios are alarming 34.7. And our Bank Nifty is better comparatively 27.25. And uh, in case of uh, Dow Jones it is showing like now current. This is the Dow Jones also. Let me just see whether I can update this now. So Dow Jones is showing almost 133 points on the upside actually as of now. Uh, maybe it will take some time. The first time, uh, okay, creating connection. Yeah, it's getting updated now. 101 points is now. Dow Jones is showing on the positive side. Okay, now this report. What are you are seeing here? Entire thing. What you are seeing here? I upload to the website actually. Okay, now I'm giving the link of this uh, in the uh, description box. You can just go through there. The same you can see once you use this link, use some uh, sign in if required, and then you can see the entire thing. Just go through each and everything, and you'll be able to see the reports. What are you seeing here? You can navigate and see the charts. You can see the charts also. I just enabled. Just see this 22nd October. 22nd October today's chart. Everything you can see navigation like how I'm doing in here in my Power BI. Just see 12,000 now put option for today 27 expiry. See the high and low. Today we saw low 46 and high of 233. What a move today in the put options. And similarly for the call options also same thing happened here. <coughs> From 11,900 call, you can see 11,900 call. See the low and high. Low made a low of 18 when the put made a high 18, and then again made 139. What a move today! Means it is like a fantastic move, which we don't see normally. Actually, last week we saw the put only, but the same put and call both we saw the move. So this try to use this navigate and be very useful for you. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe, like the channel, so that I can give you some more valuables. Thank you.